there's actually a full seven, a set of seven worldviews. But what's the, the latter discernments have been that, well, this turns out, lo and behold, to be an octave set. Just like in the, in, with the pure notes of Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, there's only seven of them. But you come to the Do at the, at the next octave and you've got a complete octave set. That, that seems to be true with these worldviews as well, like many, many, many other things in our, in our particular universe. Every worldview has its own unique and distinctive cosmology or theory of how the universe came into being and even where it's going, if there's some sort of direction the whole universe is going in, uh, or whether it's always existed and there's no particular direction at all. But there's, it turns out that there's eight separate and distinct answers to that cosmological question. Depending upon which question you're asking, which cosmic question you're asking, you can cut into any one of these worldviews at that spot and understand what the answer to that question is. And you'll discover that there are there are coordinated answers to all of the other major questions that go into making up a worldview that are completely consistent with that particular answer. There's a creative relationship between seemingly dissimilar things that can share the strengths and weaknesses together and to come to some kind of a more positive resolution to that. And, and it's true of every single one of the worldviews. So my own personal opinion is, is that it's not appropriate nor that likely to succeed to be attempting simply to convert some person from their worldview to your worldview and tell them their worldview is wrong and yours is right because ultimately these cosmic questions that are being answered in order to generate your worldview, it's very difficult for anyone to demonstrate that their particular answer to that world, those cosmic questions is completely right and the other ones are completely wrong. So th this is not a postmodernist position. This is really trying to understand that the, the human body has all of these charisms functioning in the chakra systems. And just like an individual who is perfectly balanced in her or his chakra systems is a, is a fully evolved being. The same thing is true, I think, of a society. That if all of those, those worldviews can be manifest and articulated and given a proper channel for expression and thorough explication, and debate that we can we can garner together the positive features of each of them into a community in the in just like the, the colors of the spectrum. You take the, the colors of the spectrum from red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, it, if you bring them all together, it generates white light. It generates crystal clear light, much to the total surprise of everyone who are advocates of the one color. <laughs>